All right, so it is day one, and on day one, in the classic uh, workout set, um, there's actually, I guess I should explain that, there's three different sets you could do. You could either do the classic, doubles, or lean. Now, classic is just the basic where you're just building up muscle mass and adding some flexibility and cardio. Doubles is the classic, but twice. So, if you have, like, buttloads of energy and classic isn't cutting it for you or maybe you've, you've done P90X and you just want to keep going with it and you have extra energy to spare then you can do doubles personally I'm going to stick with classic because I don't have enough energy to do doubles um, and then there's lean and lean is less emphasis on strength obviously and more emphasis on higher reps with lower weight for toning your muscles to make you look you know more slender so you know uh, if you don't want to put on muscle mass and bulk up then do lean it's a lot more uh, intensive in regards to cardio endurance and that kind of stuff so I'm doing classic and going with my little planner thingy here if you notice it says day one chest and back and ab rupert x now if you notice um, it does day one through seven on the first week and in classic weeks one through three follow this uh, this routine and then over here on week four it has a separate week which is considered a recovery week so after three weeks of blasting your body into smithereens you get one week to recover now it's called recovery week but you're not actually recovering because you're still working out so uh, what the recovery week focuses on is your uh, core strength. So you're doing a lot of stretching, some yoga, some kempo, so a lot of uh, movement and stuff to kind of firm up your midsection. Um, whereas the other three weeks are more so focusing on things like your shoulders, your lats, which are your, your side muscles here, uh, biceps, triceps, uh, your stomach, and your legs. Now on every second day, so first, third, and fifth, you do uh, a body part plus abs so you're always doing abs every second day and then in between so on days two four six um, it is less intense workout so you do a body part and then on your second day you kind of you don't really relax but you don't exert yourself you do more so like stretching uh, some cardio plyo which is like jumping so it's a lot of uh, kind of balance and jumping and endurance so you're not actually working a body part, so it gives your body time to repair. Um, the phone is ringing, but I'm going to ignore it. So today I will be doing my chest and back, and then followed by abs. Now the chest and back, um, most of these routines are about an hour long, or 45 minutes to an hour long. Some are longer, like the yoga, for example, is I think an hour and a half to an hour and 40. but for uh, most of the workouts, they're about 45 to an hour. And then you have about a 15 minute ab routine afterwards. Now, if you look in your book, um, and you read up ahead of time, it tells you exactly what you're doing on your day. So day one is uh, chest and back. And it gives you like a, a warm up. So before every exercise, you're doing a warm up. So uh, my light warm up includes some cardio and some stretching. So marching, running, jumping jacks, lunges, um, just kind of you know stretching on my arms, getting them ready. So I'll be doing that. And then when it gets into the uh, the workouts themselves, there's it's all right here. So first up, there's some standard push-ups followed by some wide front pull-ups, then some military push-ups. Um, now. Uh, a standard push-up um, is more so your arms are out to your side, but they're still about shoulder, you know, about shoulder height, and you're just pushing up. Uh, wide front pull-ups, so your arms are wider, and then you're gripping, so wide. Um, then military push-ups are your hands are underneath your shoulders, and you're pushing up, and you're trying to keep your arms from flaring up to your sides while you do push-ups. Then reverse grip chin up, so uh, your hands are, you want to keep them about finger width apart, I guess, so touch your pinkies, and then you're doing, uh, this is a chin up. 
and this is a pull up. Um, then you do like a two minute break. Well, actually, I think in the video it's about 45 seconds, but you know, whenever you're doing a video, you can pause it, take some time, catch your breath. So it says here a mini stretch, so kind of towel yourself off if you're all sweaty, uh, drink some water, kind of stretch out a little bit, and then you get right back into it, which is a wide fly uh, push up. So your hands are a little bit wider than a standard push up. Um, close grip overhand pull up. So palms out, so it's kind of like kind of like the chin up but your arms are closer then a decline push up which is you grab a chair which I'll be using that and then uh, put my feet on the chair and your face is down on the ground and you're doing push ups so it's like an elevated push up heavy pants which um, kind of you're standing with uh, heavy weights in each hand by your side and you kind of bend down and then pull up, kind of like if you're pulling up your pants, hence heavy pants. So, and then another two minute break for stretching, drinking some water, toweling off, um, do some ballistic stretching, whatever. Diamond push ups, freaking kill me. Uh, I suck at doing them because my chest muscles are not nearly as strong as most people's because my chest actually caves in due to a birth defect. But uh, basically, a diamond push up is kind of like make a diamond with your fingers and then put them over the center of your chest and you're doing a push up that way and they're hard as hell so those always get me, I can do maybe four because my chest muscles are not that great uh, the lawn mower which is kind of uh, you know you're kind of starting a lawn mower that kind of thing with some weights dive bomber push-ups um, think of like if you've ever done yoga you know the uh, downward dog or whatever you kind of on your feet with your hands on the ground and so you're kind of like this and then say these here are your hands um, you kind of do like a this motion so your head's here and your feet are here and then on your way back, you kind of kind of diving and lifting up your your head as you're arching and then bowing. They're uh, pretty intense. Um, then you get some back flies, which you're just kind of sitting on a chair with your weights, and you kind of want to lift them up to, to shoulder height. So you kind of do some back flies, and then you repeat it if that wasn't enough and the way you repeat it is take every two exercises so one and two and then you flip them so you do two one and then you do the next two uh, three and four but you flip them as well so it's four three so it's two one four three then six and five and then eight and seven and then ten and nine and then twelve and eleven so every two you just flip them the whole way through um, and then you got your cool down, which is the best part of every exercise, where you, you stretch out your muscles and you just slowly bring yourself down. Um, and then that's it. And then you get to do your abs, which uh, is multiple different variations on uh, sit-ups, jackknife sit-ups, uh, you know, doing some bicycles, alternating leg raises, which kind of doing this while laying down with your feet. Uh, so lots of that for 15 minutes so yeah so I'm gonna get to that I suppose it is just quarter after five here now so hopefully I will be talking to you in a boat an hour and 15 so maybe by 6.30 I'll be done so I'll let you know how that goes